Hello guys, I'm Sudarshan Koyrala and welcome back to Data Science Basics. I'm going to create a series of videos in Langchain. So why this series? Is because as you have also noticed, there are many frameworks in software development, but in large language models, I don't see that many frameworks. And Langchain has evolved as a framework for developing applications powered by language models. There has been many language models being released and there are many variants that are being fine-tuned on top of that. And it's really difficult to keep up with all those things and interacting with those stops. My goal is to educate myself in these topics and I decided to create a video also out of it so that as I progress on studying or educating myself, you will also get most out of it. This is the introductory video where we will just go through what is Langchain and I will show you a small demo of how we can use it to interact with the large language models. I hope you are familiar with software engineering things. In software development, we use different frameworks, right? For different languages. There is React, Vue, there is Django, and there is Spring. There is Laravel, Symfony, and all the different frameworks. The main goal of those frameworks is to make things easier and create web applications easily, right? Langchain is exactly doing the same thing where we use this framework, which is powered by these models, meaning that we create the applications powered by language models. And the good part of this is that, as it says in the documentation, we believe that the most powerful and differentiated applications will not only call out to a language model via an API, but also it is data aware, meaning that we can connect our large language model to other sources of data and also be agentic, meaning that we allow a language model to interact with its environment. This is really good and actually the Langchain is well documented and I see here that they have the introduction page and there is Python docs and with JavaScript and TypeScript docs. I will be mainly focusing on the Python docs in my upcoming videos. And there is actually just two main things that you need to remember. There is components and the huge cases to create the applications. And what you need to mainly focus is that we have components and we can chain those components to create good apps. That is what we will be focusing on. I will go through each and every of these different aspects or different topics because I want to educate myself in all of these topics. As I go and explore these topics, I will create a video. How it works is first in each videos, I will explain you the theoretical part of that particular topic and then I will create a demo out of it so that I will show you how that can be implemented in the code itself. And between the videos, I will also create some good applications, web applications to show and demonstrate you what kind of cool applications we can make out of it. And by the way, there is a blog here with Langchain and before going here, if you scroll all the way down, there is the page with this community, Discord and Twitter, you can join there. There is the GitHub, there is Python and JavaScript, TypeScript, and there is homepage and blog. I was going through the blog. It says announcing our US dollar 10 million seed round by, led by Benchmark. By the way, this is just, as you can see here, it was only six months ago that we released that the first version of Langchain, but it seems like several years. It is actually October 24th when Harrison, who is the creator of this framework, just tweeted something, right? And why they want to raise money because this all started as an open source site project but now it is gaining attraction by just seeing these numbers you can see here it has 20k more over 20k starts on github 10k active discord members 30k followers on twitter and most importantly over 350 contributors i see that this is going to be a huge framework for large language models. You can create cool applications. As you can see here in huge cases, you can create a personal assistant, question answering over docs, chatbots, querying table or data, interacting with the APIs, extraction, evaluation, summarization, and all these things. But in this introductory video, I will just show you a quick glimpse of what Langchain can do. So first we need to install, right? Let me make it quiet here. So you can first install Langchain chain 
I have already done this, so it must not take that much of time. We need to set the environment variables, right? Because installing LangChain itself is not enough. Because as I said here, using LangChain will usually require integration with one or more model providers, data sources, APIs, and all these different things. In this case, I'm going to use OpenAI. We can just install the OpenAI here. In order to interact with OpenAI, we need to have the OpenAI API key, right? For that, you can go to this URL platform.openai.com accounts API keys. You need to have an account of OpenAI if you don't have already. And then you can just go to this API keys tab and then create a new secret key. I have already created and I have already pasted here. You need to create a API key and then paste it here and you are good to go. I have already run this, so I will not run that again. Now we will be building the large language models. Now we have LangChain and we have OpenAI API key, right? Now we can create a simple demo. Here I just said, okay, from LangChain.LLMs, import OpenAI. We just want to do some kind of predictions. Now what we need to do is we need to initialize the wrapper. So for that, we can create an instance or variable, what you call it. LLM equals to OpenAI. And there we go. And what we want to do now is just say a text. Let's say that what would be a good company name for a company that makes colorful shorts. I have that text, right? Now I will pass that text into OpenAI's LLM model. So here I can just say LLM and then I can pass that text inside there. And if I run this, it will provide me, it says vivid threads, interesting. And if you run this again, it will provide another answer. Okay, bright face and sorts. You can see it relates to that, right? This is how quickly you can interact with OpenAI. I don't think before it was that easy to have output or to do a simple prediction this easily. Yeah, this is how easily we can interact with LangChain. I find it really interesting and helpful. Okay, that's all for this video. I hope you find it helpful or you learn something new today. As I said, I will be creating a series of videos in the future. If you like the video, please give the thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. And to get notified when I upload the video, you know what to do. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.